Welcome to the Nacklers Workshop, I'm Paul. In today's video we're going to look at the Unimat SL Jigsaw Attachment. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today we're going to look at the uh, Unimat uh, Jigsaw Attachment. So um, this was uh, something I picked up on eBay. I spoke about it in the uh, uh, recent hodgepodge number five. Um, came, it came in the original box. Uh, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, open it up and have a look. So uh, we've got uh, a bunch of wires, which uh, I'm not too sure why they, they came. We have this rubber uh, rubber thing, which uh, I'll talk about in a minute. So we'll put that there, just trying to look. Uh, what else have we got? So in here we've got... Put that there. The main, the main upright. So uh, we've got the normal two uh, holes, so it fits onto the ways and the hole through for the lead screw. Um, basically, that's the up and down movement. This is made out of some sort of cast material. It's quite a, it's quite a weight actually. It's quite different from um, the normal Unimat stuff. That's relatively light. So we've got, um, uh, I'm not sure what you would call it, the main driving dog I suppose. So let's have a look. So we've got an M12 um, uh, thread, so that screw onto the spindle. Um, and then we've got a, an off-centre spigot that sticks out. So as it revolves, that will, that, let's move that up. That fits into into there, and so as it revolves, that will make the uh, this piston go up and down. So we got a couple of parts there. Let's have a look what we got here. So we got the main bed of the uh, of the table. Look, holes for securing it. And the hole here for uh, the blade to come through. And then I don't know what this is technically called, but it's the uh, that way up. So what I do is I can uh, start to assemble some of this. So let me clear this out of the way. So. Um, Again, it's just the normal um, M6 bolts. And we need our uh, 5mm Allen key. If I can uh, hold it there. These bolts do seem a little bit too short, so um, when I do the restoration, sorry, I'll um, just check. Yeah, they don't really go right through when I'm looking at the back here, but for the purposes of this video, I think they'll be okay. So, as I said, I uh, on in the hodgepodge ep episode, I did pick this up on eBay. You had a a pretty good price so um, yeah primarily not because I had the big desire to uh, to use it it was uh, more so um, to show you guys but actually now I've it's arrived and it is a bit more substantial than I had anticipated um, I think I would quite like to have a go with it So that's 
having never fitted it to a lathe I'm not sure whether this is the best whether you better to put put it onto the lathe put this lower part onto the uh, on fit it to the weights before you put the table on because it's um, it's quite a quite a weight now. So I guess we're going to learn together. Okay. So these uh, there were no screws with in the box with this, so um, I stole these from. Uh, Some of the parts are disassembled as part of the um, restoration project. Okay, so we got two there. So I've turned it upside down. Oh, actually, I've just turned it full circle. Just put it there. Just going to undo these two screws or oh, Allen bolts or cap head screws. I've told myself I need to start to use the, the correct terms rather than um, um, just, the, just the words I would normally use. So um, I'm trying to be more consistent. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll stop the camera for a second, I'll bring over a lathe, and, and then we'll connect it up. Okay. Right, we're back now. So I've got this is the old, uh, the not so good SL, which was permanently uh, set up as a milling machine. So I've cobbled together this because, um, as you know, I've disassembled the main, uh, the main one as part of the restoration project. So, um, <clears throat> so the main things you need to do is push the. Uh, um, the cross slide back towards the tail stock as you can see I don't actually have a tail stock on this one so I would imagine it would be uh, quite cozy if you did have a tail stock so once you've done that we've got um, the I think the first part to do will be to screw on the so chucks removed uh, so we've got our M, M12 screw on the uh, Dry, I'm not sure what it's technically called, driving dog I, I, I would suggest a couple of uh, Tommy wires we just snug that up so next thing we need to is fit on the uh, the jigsaw attachment so that sits over the two ways and the game bolt, bolt these underneath. Before I do that, I just want to make sure I've got this the right way. You can't really put it on the wrong way, but it's as you can see, it's it's over to one side. Um, and if you do put it, if you did try to assemble it, I, I did have a look earlier on. You, you can only do it one way because of um, the alignment at the bottom one that was what I wasn't sure about so I think it's first of all it, no, it doesn't balance so this becomes so let's have a look logically it would make more sense to move this forward and locate so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's it. So locate that on there, so then that gives you a bit of support. So you've got two hands for the to be able to hold this uh, this up, the mounting plate or the bottom part of the mounting plate. We'll put a Tommy bar there just to hold to keep it, keep some tension on there. See if we can do it with our hands. Like. So 
as you can see it's a little bit tricky getting the thread started and I'm conscious of the fact that I'm having the trouble I'm going to top it over and just check how I am doing it right. Yeah, yeah. I'm determined on my uh, videos not to do the old, I'll do this off camera and bring you back. You know, you need to see challenges as well. And I think I found out why. The pull's not long enough. Okay, let me uh, let me try that again. Be back in a moment. Right, I've managed to find a uh, a longer bolt, so I just. But I've only got one. So what I do is um, just snug it up to give you give you an indication of what's going on. Okay. So I don't know whether you can let's have a look. Let's see if we can get in a bit closer. this junk around. So so we've got one bolt here and then there's not really another one there but as we're not doing anything. So now you should be able to see so I'm turning the let's come back out again. So I'm just turning the um, the drive pulley round as if it will be uh, Driven by the electric motor, and let's uh, get the focus. And so you can see it's driving uh, the piston up and down, which would be let's come back out again, which you would let's go down. So on there is where one end of your uh, sorry here one end of your blade, your saw blade would come up to uh, the, um, just push the light back a bit and see if we can get it, no I can't get it in, I'll readjust in a minute, I'll see if I can push this down, no, so then your saw blade will come up, so as you're driving then that will come up, let me just uh, move the camera out a little bit, I can't right we're back now, so hopefully this is, a, I've swapped the one of the so we'll swap the lens on the camera so uh, yeah so we can see the, the driving action going up and down now as I turn it and we can see the whole whole setup and this is where the blade would come down and secure to the bottom so it's actually quite good it's I must admit it's um, a lot be better than I went than I imagined it's very it's pretty sturdy as well if you if your lathe is bolted to the bench which would be uh, which is my plan um, then yeah yeah so it's good so actually other than needing the blade uh, and some longer bolts it all appears to be here this um, this thing which uh, I'll move a bit closer I can understand how someone imagined, or maybe there is something and I don't know about these fit on, on here to give some sort of shock absorbing thing. But actually when I, when you read it, I don't know whether you can, uh, whether you can see, no, I can't get the focus on it, but what it is, it's a, um, it's, it's made by Honda. So I think it's just part of an exhaust clamp or something, anyway. So, not sure why that was included in the box. 
I will keep it just until after I've I've, um, I've run it. So anyway, that's the uh, the jigsaw um, attachment. So as you can see, it's a bit of a different colour. So someone's painted that over time. So when we do the restoration, we're um, try and get the same colour match and uh, show you it running. Uh, as I've mentioned before, um, I am going to do another playlist series where I show uh, all of the, um, I think a, a performance playlist, I think I called it. So I'll show all the um, attachments and everything in action and we can try and let you let you all see how um, how good or or not um, everything is okay so that's uh, that's about it for this uh, this episode so um, as always um, stay strong happy and healthy cheerio <laughs>